Dr. Frankenstein, take a bow. <laughs> <laughs> I could not be more impressed with your monster, even if you were to put on tap shoes and <laughs> sing putting on the Ritz. <laughs> there and back again. Yes. Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster is a total success. <laughs> That was freaking exciting. <laughs> I followed her. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's a baby right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's both the babies. Oh my god. That is an old wound. It looks old, doesn't it? That wound. She looks pretty yeah. rough. Oh my god. Oh, look at her her left rear, Billy. There's hair hanging down. Oh, she's shedding. She's shedding. Oh, yeah. But definitely an old wound on the right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those are the right same. Pressure. Those are the same ones. Yeah, those calves have grown a lot already. Do you see him, honey? Not yet. He's like between the four wheeler He's and like the spruce tree. Right, right between them. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. He blends right in. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, look at those big back feet. Uh-huh. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's a hare. He's got to be a, a snowshoe hare, right? Yeah. Oh, those feet are just adorable. Reminds me of Watership Down. I know. Wow. It's like a wildlife safari around here tonight. <laughs> the young leaf. Oh, here he goes. Hoppity hop. Look at those feet, man. When he... I know, they're huge. It's like he's wearing shoes that are six sizes too big for him. Oh my god, he's so cute. So we're getting ready to go up again. This will be our second time up. Last time we got the tent up, which is great. Uh, got the area cleaned up a bit. And today we're taking up our Julka, which is our hot water on demand system. It's, it runs on propane. Once again, this is something that I researched and researched and researched because um, there's lots of options on these hot water on demand systems. But the Julka, even though it's more expensive, kept coming out on top for a number of reasons. Ease of use, um, the connectors and so forth seem to be of, of better quality than on a lot of the more popular ones. And it also comes with a pump that we can just throw in the lake. I mean, not the, the pump itself, but we can throw a hose in the lake and pump up water <laughs> and have it come out hot. So it seems like, like a really, really awesome thing to have up there. And like I said, it was, it was expensive. It was about 450 bucks. But I am seriously all about making us more comfortable up there this summer. The other thing we're bringing up today is our kitchen, so to speak. This is a, 
a whole cook station, you know, like a counter with a sink and so forth. Because as I've been kvetching, it's the doing the dishes and the cooking and stuff that get not really old without any kind of a proper kitchen set up. So hopefully these things are going to make life a whole lot more comfortable and easy up there. Because living without a kitchen really does burn you out. You know, the, the trying to do the dishes and the cooking and blah, blah, blah. So, and of course, saw shetty has to go up today. As this is our, one of our vital tools. We brought an old saw from home. Getting it up there little bit by little bit. Um, the weather cleared up again. Thank goodness we woke up this morning and it was pouring. And I was like, oh no, but it, it's nice now. And it's supposed to stay basically just like partly cloudy till tomorrow evening. So we've got a good little window to get some more stuff done and get ourselves set up up there. And this is something I bought years ago um, and have never opened it, obviously. It's a little hunting blind, but I bought it, of course, for videography so I could sneak up on birds and hide and get real close to them. So I thought, well, if this is going to come in handy anywhere in my life, it would be up there. So um, that's going to be fun to open this and see. And it might be just like a little shelter to stick things in. <laughs> Who knows? I got a feeling it's going to come in handy. So we'll take that up today, too. Boom. Monster is more than happy to oblige, aren't you, Monster? The last minute preparations always take a while. You think you're about ready to go, and then you realize you got to do this, that, lash everything down really well, etc. Jack is uh, working on the flappy thing here, looking for another neck bolt for Monster. This was the memory foam raft that we made to set the amplifier that we brought up on so it would absorb some of the shock of the road. And it worked because the amp was working fine when we got here. grunts to get off the machine. <laughs> oh, okay, tent still up, that's good. Doesn't look like any burrs have been, ooh, there goes a bone bird call. Oh, lovely. Oh, and there's the swans across the lake. up here and we got our kitchen counter up here bring it on over let's 
pop these babies and see what we got. It's very exciting. Let's do the counter first. There's the jewel cut over here. It seems like it's missing legs. And it's like a massage table too. <laughs> Well, I guess we're going to have to look at the instructions anyway. Yeah. It's kind of a recurring theme with us, huh? We always try to figure shit out by ourselves and then end up having to... But we know better than to bring the saw and get that involved. <laughs> oh, even the greaves are laughing at us. All right, we did it. We figured it out. We didn't have to look at the instructions. We just had to pause and, yes. and think about things a little bit. We realized it wasn't fully expanded down here, so that was making things askew. Now the big question Bless is, you. where do we put it? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we should put it where that thing is. That would be a great place. Because we don't want it too close to the tent, because it is going to smell a little bit like food. And if bears come to check it out, we don't need the bears actually bumping into the tent. Right. You know, we can... That's an ideal place. ...kind of have it there, and then maybe the Julka pump cord, I don't know how long it is actually, could reach to the lake, or at least very close, so we can get buckets of water and stick it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that. And so we'll have to move this thing finally. Unless we want to make that part of the... Hmm. See, one of the things that was left here and we actually just started using as a shelf and a thing to set things on last summer was this old rotted sled upside down so but now we're thinking we want to put the kitchen counter set up there so the question is what do we do with that and do we still want that nearby to set things on because it actually came in pretty handy, I must admit. Yeah, yeah, you know, we could actually put some, put like a little shelf if we just tilt it up. Looks like it'll stand on its own, maybe. I don't know. With a little help. I don't know. Jack had the brilliant idea of leaning this up on its side. This is going to be like, we're going to put a board on it, so we're going to put it here, like behind the counter. We'll probably raise it a little bit so that um, we have like another shelf there. So that's, that's a great idea. So we're going to level this ground here a little bit so everything will set without being too wobbly. That's what we're doing. Yeah. All right, check this out. This is a grand example of Alaska ingenuity and we do what we can with what we've got. All right? Yes. We took, show them, Jack. Show them what they've won. <laughs> Well, hey! Hi guys, we got two second. dogs! Hi guys! <laughs> oh, yes! Hey, John. Hello, Ankis. <laughs> we'll pause this demonstration for a moment. Yes, we'll see. Now it'll be tested. <laughs> see if it'll hold up. Okay, so far so good. Looking good. Anyway, we'll get this all leveled, and then we have see if we can get a sink. Ooh, look at that. We've got a little hot water system, so we're going to be a much, much oh, more Oh, where'd you get this? I might get this for uh, the Papa Bear camp. Um, I've ordered it on Amazon. How much cost? I think it was 137 But they have all yeah. sizes. If there's, you know, once you start looking, there's a billion of them. 
But I like this one because it's got the, so you can have something to stick your head yep. and stuff. And plus it's got this so you can hang a light or your uh, yep. shower yeah, that's, thing. That's stiffy. It's going to be really, really much better. Alrighty, today we have accomplished the beginnings of a lovely kitchen setup. And I'm thinking we'll put the Julka back here. We didn't bother opening that up today. And um, then we'll be getting water from the lake. And we started the generator, blew up the air mattress. Last year, Pookie put a hole in it. So we don't know how much air it's going to hold. So we'll just see what it's like when we come up whenever, well, tomorrow or the next day, whenever the weather gives us a break. So we'll be able to judge whether that's going to keep us until the mattress we ordered arrived. And yes, it's beginning to take shape. Beginning to look like home again. Mm -hmm. And it will be a new and improved home.